it's shortly after 12. We've made it to the Basin Lake access point. You can see down the hill there. And this is one of the campsites right here, right at the access point. It's fairly wide open. You know, it's not a terrible site, but uh, I think there's four or five campsites on this lake, so this would be where all the cars are parked eventually, so it wouldn't be that great. And then down this trail here, you can see the arrow in the distance. There's a small trail, two or three minutes down there, you'll see uh, another campsite, which is much nicer. So we have Olivia this time. Uh, my old man is here as well. And Rich will be joining us later this evening. So we're just doing a two night, three day base camp on Basin Lake and uh, do some fishing, swimming, tour around the lake, check out the campsites, and then tomorrow I think we're gonna, hopefully it doesn't rain, uh, tomorrow we're gonna head out back to the road and do some day hikes, uh, see the old cabin that you see on the way in, we're gonna go take a look at that, and uh, drive our way up towards Foy's Lake, uh, and just ch check out all the trails and depot trails and stuff we can find. So going to be a bit different than our normal trip. Normally we're uh, going heavy and going hard for multiple days moving every day. This will be a base camp and looking forward to it though. Bugs are bad and it's been raining for about an hour. More bug protection. Oh, hello. Ready to go? Ready to go. Let's go. We're off. Should be a quick 15-20 uh, minute paddle to the site. Hopefully we can get the island site on Basin Lake. Uh, I think there's only like one or two good ones on this lake so we're gonna hopefully get the island which is the best one apparently. Uh, if not we will paddle around and figure it out. Okay, so we just swung the corner. It's not a very big lake. I uh, came around that corner. And this is the island here that we're hoping to camp on. The campsite's on the back side of it. If we strike out there, uh, there's a campsite on this shore, somewhere on that shore, and then there's the three back towards the parking lot. So we don't see anybody, but I think we'll we'll get lucky here. Feels good to be back. In the park, I mean, the uh, we usually go the May long weekend. We did some day tripping, uh, and it wasn't until early June, early to mid June, uh, where the parks opened back up after COVID 19. So, right now, there's really no restrictions on camping, we're all in the same bubble anyway, but it just feels good to be back. It's calling for quite a bit of rain this weekend. We're just going to get set up, get the hammocks up, the tent up, tarp, and then, uh, then we can start relaxing. Just about lunchtime. It'll be good. Hopefully, there's enough wood on this island that we don't have to go looking for it too far, but. 
Yeah, a bit of a decent little swimming spot right here. A little bit of sand, not too much. Well, this is gonna be home for the night. Two nights. Why don't you help Granddad unload the boat? Brave. <laughs> that is cold. She's, Any bugs out there? She's a wee bit chilly. So it's been off and on rain since we got here. We went for a swim uh, and we finally got everything set up. So Rich isn't here yet, so we got two hammocks so far, mine and Olivia's. There's Olivia. Hi. How you feeling? Good. <laughs> Dad's got the tent over there. Um, and I wanted to show you. I'm trying out for the first time the under quilt I got. So on Amazon I just bought a uh, $50, $60 quilt. Uh, maybe I'll put the link in the description. First time I've tried one. Uh, it's not very cold out right now, so really it might be overkill, but I just want to see how it does. Uh, on This is the Explorer Deluxe. So it appears to be slightly too small for my hammock, but it might work better on the, uh, on the smaller hammocks. How's lunch? Good. It's good. Could have used some ketchup, I bet. No, I don't like ketchup. Oh, roasty toasty. Roast and high. Yeah. Got my new smothering stick. Yeah. Alright, so it's 6 p.m. Dad and Olivia have a fire going. I'm gonna paddle back to the put-in, the access point, to see if Rich is here. Uh, I don't know if his little Subaru is gonna make it down that road, so if he's not there when I get there, I'm gonna take the truck back to the main road and try and find him. Okay, so I got, uh, obviously, flip-flops, rain jacket, because it's been off and on rain, brought my fishing pole, some water, um, leaving the campsite at 6. I'm hoping I'm back here by 7.30 with Rich in the boat, but we will see. The rain has stopped and uh, it's a very calm night. No real wind, so the paddle should be quite easy. And uh, Looking forward to coming back, making some tortellini, enjoying a fire with Dad and Olivia, my oldest. Good evening, everyone. It's uh, Rich here. I'm driving up to Basin Lake to uh, meet up with Evan and his family to uh, do a little weekend camping. Looks like it's going to be rainy most of the weekend, so we've got rain jackets, brought an extra tarp. Should have probably brought a book or something in case I was spending more time in a hammock than usual. This is an area of the park that we normally wouldn't get to on one of our uh, traveling trips because there's not really uh, many you know, portages from lake to lake that we can travel around. So this is a great out of the way, 
one uh, weekend, stay at the same spot type of trip. Been looking forward to it uh, all week, but I couldn't get off early enough today to take the ride up with Evan. So I'm just driving up for work now. He hopefully will have the site picked out. He's supposed to be meeting me at the put-in. Uh, we've got a time of seven o'clock to meet up. Uh, well, I'm not exactly sure. He was gonna text me for service, so obviously there's not. The bolt might be sitting there for me to paddle myself over to the site, or he might be uh, at the site with the boat and coming over to pick me up. Somehow, Rich made it down here in the Subaru. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. There was a few times I almost turned around. So I was about to come get you? I was like, is this the, really the right way? I showed up here early to go out and meet you at the road. Like that's why I'm here at 6.30. Cause I turned, cause I saw a basin and then I got like halfway down the road and I'm like, this road is rough. Yeah. And then, were you bottoming at, out? No, and then I looked at my GPS, and my GPS, like, because I just put Basin Lake, it shows, like, going up to, like, the middle of the lake. Yeah. And I was like, oh, maybe there's, like, a parking lot at the side of the lake or something. Right on your forehead. Oh, man, they're everywhere. Yeah. And I didn't even, I forgot my hat. I did make it. I don't think I took a video, but maybe Evan mentioned it, but that road coming down here is pretty sketchy. Almost turned around a few times on it. My clearance on my Subaru is not very good for an unmaintained road like that but uh pulled in evan was here he's got the boat to pick me up got changed out of my work clothes and into my leisure gear and headed over now for hopefully a nice weekend at getting razzed by rick <laughs> <laughs> i'll try to take some of the front yeah <laughs> i'll probably try and give him a hard time too about something at least Rich is in the boat. Successful pickup of Rich Bryson. Much easier than I thought it was gonna be. This evening in Bryden's kitchen, we are having a homemade chorizo sausage with tortellini, uh, Stormzy's sausage, obviously. So those are the chorizo sausage. Then we have our uncooked tortellini, which we will then start. And then we have uh, homemade sauce by Catelli. <sighs> Keep drinking spray like this, and I have to get all my teeth removed on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my hammock. Clothes and stuff. Nice and uh, my orange sleeping bag, my pillows down there, and socks. This is my dad's sleeping bag with an under quilt. And this is my dad's, and that's uh, my dad's hammock, Richard's hammock, my hammock. Beautiful fire. I love it. I love fire. <laughs> Could have taken a bigger bite than that. <laughs> Watch out for the sharks. All right, maybe that time I got a video. I might turn the camera on that time. And I shut the door in the car to keep the bugs out. My father and Rich are fighting because 
Rockridge's rod holders seem to be very messed up. Every time I let Ed around my rod, something gets messed up. Oh, don't be touching Rich's rod. I wonder who. One time he there's no fish in I that rod. I wonder who anyway. did it. Food. Libby, Libby. Shush. Absolutely not. Cooking with Dad. Dr. Lean is. Cooking with Dad. It's a me. Beautiful fire. And person cooking the fire. I am the keeper of the fire.